For the sign of Aries, hello and welcome to my channel. And we'll be going through the recent past. We'll see what's coming up for the present time. For the month of October 2020, we'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll see what the outcome is. So, Aries, in the recent past, we got this beautiful Ten of Cups. Wow, and another great card is the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. Yeah, this Ten of Cups. We all want the Ten. Of, we all want the Ten of Cups in the reading. We all want the Ten of Pentacles in the reading. So your the recent past must have been really great. Ten of Cups is one of the most uplifting cards that you can receive. It's about happiness, perhaps in a more mature kind of way. It's a good card to see, regardless. Ten of Cups, it's about happy family life, even if you're single, to the overall well-being that goes beyond you, yourself, which includes those that you're most concerned about, your parents, siblings, children. Also, you could have been spiritually fulfilled. This card is about your everyone, everyone's doing well, even your pets. All is good with the Ten of Cups. Great card to see regardless of any question. Ten of Cups is like a dream come true. Now, as with the Ten of Pentacles, which is saying also that you had a great deal to be thankful for. Your relationships of all kind. Your money was good. Your health was good. All these things were going well. You might have needed to consider how you got to such a happy situation and make the best of it. It would have been important for you to share what you had, even if it was only a kind word spoken to someone in need, because we all know about that lady named Karma, right? We get back what we give out. Yeah, so it was going really good for you in the recent past, Aries. Yeah, you could have been in a relationship that was committed, or it was going to the next level. Or you could have been with in a situation with someone whereas there was a second chance and it felt just right it felt like a dream come true to you to you and your person because this these two tens are about everyone just being happy and things overall are just going good money health family friends your pets all is good when you get these two cards yeah, so that's the recent past. Now, let's see what we got for the present time. We got the Death card and the Four of Swords. Now, keep in mind, this Death card, it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. It is considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death because we're all creatures with free will. Free will and such things are not written in stone. The death card, it simply indicates transformation and change. Definitely deep transformation. Could be both internally and externally in your life. Maybe some situations, things, and people that you have counted on or have gotten used to may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. The transition can be very, very difficult for some people, but the change is nearly always needed. So it's paired with this Four of Swords. Four of Swords is showing a need for break. Could be from normal life. It can mean that you or someone in your life, they may withdraw for a time. So you could feel like someone's ghosted you or you're ghosting someone. The withdrawal is not permanent though. They do come back. Um, such examples of going away and coming back could be timing in the hospital, time in the hospital or time in, even more rarely, time in jail. Those are just two examples of how people go away and then they come back. Some type of withdrawal, some type of ghosting. So, it's going to, this is a sign that you need to give people their space. So, you may need some time and space to yourself. Others could be pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention. Don't hesitate to set boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, take them at their word. If you push in the circumstance, it's going to be asking for trouble. So, Aries, well, I don't know if you're still dealing with this happy situation or 
great connection that you had with someone in the recent past, but it looks like you, you've come to some conclusion about it. Or something, maybe it's not this situation or person from the recent past. It could be that, could be a new situation that's going on. Could be a new person in your life or something that you know. You come to some conclusion about it. You're losing interest in this connection. Yeah, you might be going through some type of transformation or change. Or you're just no longer who you once were when you first met this person. So, yeah, you're losing interest in someone. Yeah, things are different. Maybe you're different. Maybe they're different. Maybe they're not who you thought they were. So there's some type of big transformation going on or just something that transformed in a really deep way that made you lose interest. So, like I said, this transformation and change, it can be difficult for some people. And it looks like you may take it a little hard or it may be challenging for you to get through because it's showing that you need some rest after a struggle. Yeah, because if you see the Four of Swords, it's the card below the word present. This man, it looks like he went to the top of the mountains. He took four swords with him, his four dogs, and a candle. And he lit the candle and put it in his shoe right below his foot. So he doesn't plan on coming back down. Not soon. He'll probably stay overnight or for a few nights. Yeah, this person needs a break. So whatever you're going through with someone or a situation, like I said, you come to a conclusion and you just lost interest because things are different. Or like I said, maybe you're different and it's, it's a difficult process, it looks like, for you because you want some rest. Yeah, you feel like maybe you need a vacation. So that is the present time, which is actually for October. Now let's see what the challenge is. We got this Nine of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. Nine of Swords is about guarding against any feelings of anxiety. If you're feeling anxious, take a good look at it. Whether or not any of it's under your own power or control and try to lessen it. Or if things or people in your life are contributing to this anxiety. If this is the case, take a good look at it. See whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable for you. Because there could be something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more, bigger, or just different than it is. So you might want to try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things and just know that that's where their beauty really is. So it's with the Six of Pentacles, which is a card about a turn for the better. Could be with, put, could be with regards to money. It's one of the more positive Pentacles. It speaks of equality, fairness. So you're heading into a really positive cycle with this when you get the Six of Pentacles. It's a, it's a card about generosity. It does mean that you're about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So share what you have because there's always someone who needs it. Now, the challenge, not of sorts, clarified by the Six of Pentacles. So, whatever this conclusion you come to or finality that you come to about a person or a situation, like I said, it looks like you... You need a break. You want some rest after going through this. Because it's a deep change. It's some type of deep transformation. It's something that you lost interest in and you probably never thought you would have. Or someone you lost interest in and you thought maybe this, this would last forever or for much longer than it did. But it didn't. You've lost interest and now it's causing uh, some anxiety and worry. But it looks like whoever you're dealing with, looks like they might reach out to you. 
Yeah, and try to make things right. Um, yeah, it looks like they're reaching out to you with this Six of Pentacles here. They might try to be really generous towards you. But they're reaching out to you in a very positive way. Yeah. Yeah, this person, um, looks like they want, they just want to, yeah, they're going to reach out to you, and it's in a good way. Uh, they could be, well, like the Six of Pentacles is about generosity. It's a good relationship. It's prosperity. So they could be giving you something of value or just being really kind to you, generous to you. They see that um, you're going through something because the change is this deep transformation it's got you kind of um, stuck in your head and going through anxiety, nightmares. They see that you're kind of sad. So, you could be reaching out to them, being um, a good friend, or just reaching out because you're going through something. And, like I said, the Six of Pentacles, it's about a turn for the better. So, things could turn around between you and this person. Or whatever, or maybe it was a situation that you lost interest in and you come to some conclusion about. Yeah, so things turn around for the better. Okay, now let's see what the outcome is. We got this Six of Swords and Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Six of Swords is about moving into calmer waters. Because if... Yeah, in this picture, these two people in a boat, it looks like they just got out of the stormy waters or some type of storm. And it, they left it behind them. It's gone. The storm is no longer. So they're sailing in the calmer waters. So there's no drama. There's no more anxiety. There's no more sleepless nights. Uh, your person, like I said, they reach out to you or you reach out to them. Because you don't like the effect that it had on you by losing someone or you didn't like this deep change. It doesn't, like I said, it's, for some people it's a difficult transition. But the change is nearly always needed. So you don't like how it's making you feel. You reach out to this person or they reach out to you. Things take a turn for the better. The two of you move into calmer waters, or you're trying to get there. But it's showing that you're moving to, to calmer waters. There's no more drama. You don't want any fighting or conflict. They don't want any fighting and conflict. Yeah, and then you got the Nine of Pentacles here, which is one of the most uplifting and, and encouraging cards in the tarot. Your worries, they're over. Things are going better for the, for you than you thought possible. If it's a relationship, it rises to new heights of intimacy and joy. So Aries, yeah, if this is a relationship, things turn around for the better. If you're in a relationship, it could go to the next level or just become better. Because everything is showing that things turn for the better. You got two turn for the better and good relationship cards here for the challenge and the outcome. But, um, yeah, you do lose interest for a while, but they, things turn around. And you come to some conclusion. Like I said, maybe you realize that you're a different person, they're a different person. I don't know if you've been with this person for a long time. If it's not a person, it's a situation that's causing you some, some anxiety and sleepless nights. But they turn around for the better. Yeah, so that's the reading that I have for you. Aries, thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below for the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? I will also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. 
So Aries, I can never say it enough. I thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are safe and well during this crazy virus season. Please take care of yourself. Stay strong and healthy. Please come back and join me for the next Aries reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Maybe the next reading will. Maybe the next reading will.